This edition of My Thoughts Monday is brought to you by Valve Performance, the team behind the Nordboard, Four Stacks, the Groin Bar, and Human Track. Guys, the most important ability for all of our athletes is availability, and that's the absolute goal of Valve Performance, is to provide solutions to performance professionals so that we can get the right information to make the right decision at the right time for the betterment of the athletes that we get to work with. To do this, guys, they have a wide range of validated products that focus on usability, and having been founded by the School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences at the Queensland University of Technology, they're extremely evidence-based and they're beyond transparent. I can tell you that our time using the Nordboard and being involved with Forstex, we have been introduced to so many amazing people that have truly helped us become better coaches, have a better understanding, not just of the technology, but also what we're doing with our athletes. So make sure you hop over to ValPerformance.com today to make sure you check out what they got. It's going to make you better and to do better by your athletes. The world of strength and conditioning is filled with some awesome practitioners who are always trying to evolve and continue to grow professionally throughout their career. The problem with many of us, though, is finding a new outlet, a new way and a new perspective on the questions that we may have whether it be programming, whether it be situational with dealing with coaches, or whether it be career advice. Because all too often what happens is we get stuck in with the same group of friends and the same group of colleagues that we reach out to for advice repeatedly over and over again. But what we should really be looking for is different perspectives, different people who have been through different situations who can help us make better decisions both for ourselves and our athletes. And one awesome place to start with that is the forums in the Strength Coach Network. In the forums in the Strength Coach Network, you'll be able to reach out and get feedback, input, and advice from coaches from all over the world, from everything, from career advice to training modalities to programming. There's people there just for the same reason as you are, to try to get better, to learn, to share information, and to grow the field of strength and conditioning. So hop on over to strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps. That's strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps to dive into all that great content today and get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. I look forward to seeing you in the Strength Coach Network. What's up, guys? C. Hayes here coming at you from a quarantine-safe location in Baltimore. I um, know it's been a while. I've probably told Jay multiple times that I was, had one coming and it never delivered, so I apologize for that, man, but happy to, to get back on the mic with, them, with you guys here, um, especially during this time where... We have nothing but. So um, just got back from a great trip to, to uh, Eastern Maryland, Eastern Shore, uh, with my good friend John Weston out at Washington College. Um, hung out, man, talked shop for a couple of hours yesterday before kicking it, or two days ago, rather, and then yesterday got outside and, and filmed some workouts with some uh, some one-on-one in between. So keep an eye for that um, coming out on YouTube and, and social soon. But uh, today, man, wanted to talk about something that, that's been on my mind um, really this whole year, this whole season to some degree, and, and now, you know, more than ever, it's not necessarily um, related to our, our current situation, our current pandemic, um, and, and kind of being isolated to where we're at. Um, I'm, I'm certainly not referencing that when I say this, but it's the idea that, you know, you are, you are whether as a coach, athlete, or, or otherwise, um, you are exactly where you need to be. And what I mean by that is... Um, you know, a good friend and kind of a mentor figure for me when I was out in Phoenix with the Dodgers, um, strength coach of the name Thomas Gentile. Um, you know, he would, whenever athletes complained that, you know, athletes that were in baseball players that were in rookie ball that thought they should be at single A or single A guys that thought they should be in double A, right? You know, what he would tell them and kind of preach back to me is, man, they're exactly where they need to be. Meaning, you know, as an athlete, obviously maybe you are talented enough you know, maybe you are skilled enough to be at a higher, higher level, but you don't have the habits yet. You know, you don't have the lifestyle and, and that's what holds you back or vice versa. You know, as an athlete, maybe you're someone that does everything right. You know, probably something that the, stri- the side that us as strength coaches can relate to more where, you know, maybe we were the 12th man, but we were on the team because we worked our butts off because we had good habits and good lifestyle. Um, but we never just had quite the, the amount of talent or skill to be at a higher level than we were. You know what I mean? That, that certainly resonates with me as a former D2 player. Um, but for us as coaches, you know, and, and for me, for myself personally, as I 
you know, evaluate this past year, um, year two at Coppin and, you know, begin to think about and, and decide what's best for me, you know, moving forward professionally and personally. Um, just the idea that, you know, while there's certainly challenges and obstacles and frustrations at a school like Coppin State, you know, in a conference like the MEAC, um, you know, I am exactly where I need to be, you know, at least for right now and for these past two years because the experience that, that I've gotten here and the mistakes, you know, I've been able to make and, and certainly none, I don't think any egregious, you know, or, or anything that I couldn't come back from, you know, knock on wood, um, you know, no crazy weight room injuries or anything like that. But certainly just, you know, the small mistakes that happen here and there and, and you know, maybe poor judgment in certain areas or, you know, a big thing for me, I think, is I gave athletes, at, especially at this level, too much autonomy. You know, where I'm a, I'm a big believer in that from a psychological standpoint, but knowing that athletes at this level, and let's be honest, you know, most college athletes these days, you know, they don't have the habit and the lifestyle and the daily disciplines. You know, that's what, as much as we need to obviously take care of the training and the physiology, you know, that may, that side of it may be even more important for us right now, you know, to help them build those daily disciplines and to help them grow into, you know, young men and, and full adults or young women. Um, you know, so I think that's a big thing for me that, that I'll take moving forward, whether it's here at Coppin or beyond in the future, um, is given a lot more structure first, you know, and then within that structure, allowing them some autonomy, you know what I mean? But um, that's something that I remind myself of often now, you know, like I said, as frustrating and as challenging as this past season was for me at times, um, I know that I'm going to take so much from that you know, in terms of learning about culture and, and what winning really takes, you know, X and O's aside, talent aside, you know, what a locker room needs to be like and what your standards and principles need to be like as a program, you know, strength coach and beyond to have, you know, continued consistent success, you know, in terms of wins and losses. So, um, you know, I think that's a message that, that can resonate for all of us, um, but especially, you know, the younger coach, um, which I, I still kind of, you know, consider myself in that area, but certainly I'm um, not the young intern or GA coach anymore. But, um, you know, for us younger coaches out there, whether it's intern, GA, or your first few years, you know, in the business as a full-time, as much as we want to climb the ladder, you know, and, and stand at the top of that proverbial mountain, you know, let us remember that it's those steps along the ladder. Um, as MJ uh, preached to me a few weeks ago or, or recently about, you know, so steps along the ladder that are bigger as you work up, you know, they feel a lot harder. They feel a lot more um, challenging. But as you work up the ladder, you gain that experience. You work through those mistakes and those failures. You know, that's what prepares you for that mid-major job, that power five, power six job or the professional job. You know, if you want to go that route or, you know, a director at a private facility, whatever. Right. Like you got to pay your dues as cliche as that is. And and. You know, if we were all to start at our dream job, our maximum potential, you know, to, to fulfill the, that job and those roles and responsibilities wouldn't be as high as it could. You know, if we didn't work up the ladder and, and go through the trials and tribulations, you know, of a lower level um, position and, and not just about the level, you know what I mean? But being able to work through those mistakes and those failures and those lessons um, where, you know, at those bigger levels, professional, power five, et cetera, you know, certain mistakes aren't as forgivable, you know, and, and certain things that, you know, you can maybe get away with at this level, you know, in the MEAC or cop in and, and can maybe be swept under the table. You know, they're under a much bigger um, a microscope, obviously, at the bigger levels. And, and that's not to say that, you know, your standards as a, as a coach or professional obviously should by any means, you know, be lessened um, regardless of the level, the position, the conference that you're at. But, you know, being able to go through those, those things here at this type of level, for me, I know has been huge um, to prepare me, whether it's, you know, another season here at Coppin um, or somewhere else, you know, to be able to, to be ready for that next step. So um, just wanted to share that idea with you guys. Hopefully that, that resonates with some of you, um, you know, as much as we want to, like I said, man, as much as we want to work up the ladder and be at the top. It's those, it's the journey, you know, it's those experiences, failures, and obviously hopefully successes as well um, along the journey that are what, you know, really make it worthwhile. 
um, and that prepare us for that, you know, hopefully eventually that dream job um, that we all hope to have someday, whatever capacity that is. So um, thank you guys. Hope that makes sense. Hope you take something away from that. Um, Please stay safe. Please be smart. You know, in this time, I know it's tough for us, but um, obviously time, as MJ is saying, you know, time is a blessing right now. Um, So would love to connect with with coaches new and old and exchange ideas, talk shop and, and uh, maybe talk craft beer as well. So uh, thank you guys. Stay safe and we'll talk to you soon.